मेडिकल साइंस की दुनिया में हम गर्व कर सकते हैं हमारा देश किसी समय क्या था महाभारत में कर्ण की कथा आती है हम सब कर्ण के विषय में महाभारत में पढ़ते हैं लेकिन कभी हमने थोड़ा सा और सोचना शुरू करें तो ध्यान में आएगा कि महाभारत का कहना है कि कर्ण मां की गोद से पैदा नहीं हुआ था इसका मतलब यह हुआ कि उस समय जीनेटिक साइंस मौजूद था तभी तो कर्ण मां की गोद के बिना उसका जन्म हुआ होगा What is so dangerous about today with the RSS governing India? Of course, the people who are affected, uh, say the Muslims, to say also Dalits, other minorities, Christian tribals, for instance, they are directly affected. It seems almost that uh, mob violence is. Uh, being not only encouraged but almost being expected by the central government the way ministers respond to it so that's one issue but the second and larger issue is uh, what about the country and um, it is that which is even more worrying um, because if somebody uh, in some other country its prime minister had said for instance that bulgaria knew about plastic surgery in remote times when the slavic gods uh, were worshiped what would one one of thought somebody who should go to an asylum but an indian prime minister makes it hum ganesh ji ki pooja karte hain koi to plastic surgeon hoga us zamane mein jisne manushya ke sharir par हाथी का सर रख करके प्लास्टिक सर्जरी की प्रारंभ किया होगा अनेक ऐसे क्षेत्र होंगे जहां हमारे पूर्वजों ने बहुत बड़ा योगदान दिया है एंड फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम एक्सेप्ट फॉर द इंडियन हिस्ट्री कांग्रेस एवरीबडी इज साइलेंट द साइंस कांग्रेस इज साइलेंट एंड देन एवरीवन एल्स बिगिन सेइंग दीस थिंग्स इट इज सो इट्स वेरी इंकरेजिंग एंड इट्स वेरी कंफर्टिंग that now i believe even 500 scientists have signed i was just coming and some of them are perhaps government servants many of them government servants so they are also feeling that um, in that the wind is turning against them when turning against science turning against reason turning against secularism and um, behind all this is the total surrender to the corporate sector um, like saying that all scientific research in csir should be uh, financed by companies that is to say they are to become research and development wings of private companies so behind all this is the triumph of the corporate sector and a total rejection of the welfare state ideal which is also shown by their withdrawal of funds from the social sector manrega everything they are Rudy they are box program even uh, there is a school for the deaf here uh, in yeah, aligarh yeah. and they have only received half the grant of the last year up till now how are they going to their pay, pay their teachers so uh, there is almost total indifference to them the last 6 weeks have seen this burgeoning protest it began with writers then there were historians now there are 500 scientists uh, how significant do you see these because this is the cultural heart of india speaking this is the scientific elite of india speaking elite in terms of the intellectual elite and and where do you see it going sir you see it had to come and i am glad it came um one must remember that rss and hindu mahasabha but rss mostly now rss now in hindu wish parisha then all its sister organizations or uh, front organizations they present a picture of um, an ideology 
that is uh, revolting to any, any ordinary person of common sense uh, who has gone through the ordinary education mill. It is all right when they appeal to the upper caste, but when they are all saying this about plastic surgery, about uh, everyone knowing everything in the past, about justifying mob violence, uh, then they are practically rejecting the whole modern view, not only the secular view, the modern view of life, the rational view of life. And uh, the only practical purpose seems to be to, fin to strengthen the corporate sector. And they are, um, they are, they are quite open about it. Uh, so their entire ideology, in fact, works to justify that particular orientation of the regime. Uh, now I don't say that the previous Congress regime did not also support the public sector, but they did not support it totally in that crude way, an open way, in which the present government, in the name of development, is doing.